Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com, where we have easy, cheap land priced 50 to 80% below the competition. So today we've got a piece of property in the desert with no one around that has a road going to it. You can drive right up to this property. It's got views of the mountains. It's an easy drive to Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Lake Havasu, San Diego. It's in Southern California. So if we zoom in on this property, you'll see Route 66 to the south here, National Trails Highway, Interstate 40 to the north. There's a road that comes right through this property up, and it's a little dirt road. It's not like lots of traffic or anything, but it goes through there and goes up to the, the 40. So you could access it from either side, theoretically. You probably want to do it from Route 66. I mean, it's a two and a half mile road from Route 66 before you get to this property. I don't know how far it is up to the 40. I don't know if you can actually get on the 40 right there. You might still have to drive back to an on-ramp somewhere. So if you zoom in on this thing, it's got it's got scattered bush, um, no trees really, but no real major rock piles or anything in your way either. So if we uh, zoom in some more, I can show you the the skyline, if you're on this property looking north, you'd see some mountains to the north. Um, to the northeast, the mountains start dropping off, and to the south, it goes down into the valley. As you start looking west, the mountains start picking up again. You start getting some darker, beefier mountains to the west that might block some, you know, westerly winds. If we back out some more, let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Let's uh, let's click this button. Um, let's go back to the property. So so here's the property. Let's back out. There's a bunch of mountains in the area. This mountain range over here is a. Uh, it's open for hunting and camping, and uh, I hear these mountains have have mule deer in them. These mountains over here, they've got a, the government's put in a couple springs to keep the wildlife um, water. So springs in the desert equals lots of wildlife. That's just like the magic touch. So here's here's the mountain range off to the other side. Some of those black mountains you'd see to the west get a little bit taller to the west. Route 40 to the north, you get a picture of these mountains. Here's some some little two tracks and little roads going through there that people have worked on. Um, but this gives you a picture of the, the thickest topography in the area. Train track comes working its way up this topography over there. But if we go back to the property, and this just gives you an idea of the area. So if you're in this area, this is where you get your dirt bike out, or your four-wheeler, your four-by-four truck, or your hiking boots, and you go explore. You go explore all these rocks. You go explore all these peaks and see what kind of wildlife is really there. Let's see if we can do it from the computer. Uh, we can look at some pictures. So there's there's a railroad track along here. Yeah, see? So look at the colors of these mountains in the background, and some of the bush that's there. There's power lines running along that track. That's still two and a half miles away to that power line. So I'm not saying there's power lines to the property, but you know, there's some in the area, kind of. But I like the colors. Um, you know, there's no color in that one, but it's the idea of the, the countryside here. So I click a couple of them. So this train would be two and a half miles away. These pictures are down in the lake bed. These aren't really representative of the mountains there. But here's a here's some pictures of the bush. There's some green stuff growing maybe after rain or in the spring. I was messing around with the topography on this thing, and the, this road is kind of 800 feet in elevation. And the property is kind of 11 or 1200 feet in elevation. There's, there's kind of almost 500 foot that you go up from the road to the property. If we go to the internet, I might be able to show you some more. 
I like Landwatch. So if we go to landwatch.com and look at what other properties are for sale like this in the area, I put Barstow, California in. So with Barstow, California, and the land watch and the price set from low to high and narrowed down to um, you know these size properties I think it's 11 11 to 50 acres or something like that I might have the number wrong but uh, this size right around the 20 acre kind of properties I'm asking forty nine hundred dollars for this property so let's keep that in mind forty nine hundred dollars so if we sort price low to high by the closest town or population in the area, Barstow, California, I mean it's these 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 are this is a picture of me. This is me, 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 me. These are all other properties I've sold or have for sale. And the the first one that's not one of my properties is twenty acres, which is the exact same size as this one I'm got for sale for forty nine hundred dollars. They're asking ten thousand dollars. That's the cheapest I can find anywhere. And I, this picture looks just like a picture from the area of this property that's on Google Earth. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they stole this picture off of Google Earth. I don't think you should do that, but it looks like what these guys did. And so it's a neat area that this property is in. It's a beautiful valley. I think I sold a property in that same valley not too long ago. Um, that's why I was looking at that picture. But uh, they're asking ten thousand dollars for twenty acres in that, in this area, kind of this area. And I'm asking less than half of that at forty nine hundred dollars. So the prices go up from there. The next cheapest one's fifteen thousand dollars. Seller's very motivated. If they're motivated. They should drop the price, right? Um, up, 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 in a way prices to like quadruple twenty thousand dollars before you know it for these this size property in this this neck of the woods so this is a really smoking hot deal price to move fast that's what I'm trying to say so let's move on if you put in the GPS coordinates of this property it should be in the details of the um, the YouTube video below or in my listing on ruralvacantland.com you can click on them it should take you to this this uh, this view in, in Google Maps. You can click on the corners and you can get GPS coordinates of the corners if you want to go walk the lines or figure out where this property is. But the GPS coordinates that I give you are to the center of the property. And here's the dirt road that goes through the, through the property. And I noticed if you follow this dirt road two and a half miles to the south, you get to Route 66. And uh, here's Google Street Map street view route 66 here's route 66 it's just a two-lane old highway right and here's a turnoff here's a dirt road turnoff two and a half miles up this road is uh you know here's crosses railroad tracks and goes on up to the property so here's a view of the mountains and the color the kinds of bushes that are there this street view was recorded in 2008 so this is you know, this is very dated, uh, but it's it's a street view of the area. There's not a whole lot of data around this area, but this is I'll get, show you the, the bottom of the valley. So this is like 800 feet elevation. And again, the property's like 11, almost 1,200 feet elevation up this hill. It's higher elevations. It might be different vegetation. So the property is kind of over here. And to the east of it, you have this Marble Mountains uh, wilderness area where you can hunt and camp. And I heard there's a couple different springs that the government have uh, beefed up or worked on. You know, they, they give water out to the animals. And so the birds and the deer and whatever else is there live off of these springs. So you get a, you know, a bit more abundance here than you might see else otherwise around the area. And then across the 40, you get the Mojave National Preserve, which is huge. You've got these truck trails. You guys come from all over the place to drive four-wheel four -wheel trucks around the desert. The, the Marble Mountains are great for 
um, dirt biking and off-roading and truck driving trucks and rock climbing, hiking and hunting and everything else too. But uh, on the other side of the 40 is a ginormous preserve of land that you can play in as well. So you could live on your 20 acres there's nobody around it. You could probably take advantage of a lot of the land around there without anybody ever saying anything. Um, and drive down the road a little ways and be in massive amounts of government land that you can make it feel like your property is even bigger by using that land that hardly anyone visits. Here's some pictures of the Marble Mountains. So remember that, that map of the Marble Mountains? These are the Marble Mountains. I mean, there's a lot of colors to these mountains and uh, be beautiful and just hike these things. This is the kind of game that's in the Marble Mountains, mule deer, desert mule deer. Some of the guys that go after them. It's about 75 miles to Barstow, which would be the closest uh, Home Depot, Walmart, major grocery shopping. Uh, in Ludlow, you can get gas. Gas stations are closer. There's a Dairy Queen there, and you know you don't have to go 75 miles to get gas, but but uh, that's that's how far you have to go to get major supplies. It's not not too far. Two and a half hours north is Las Vegas, 143 miles. Lake Havasu is two, a little over two hours to the east, 126 miles to downtown. There, there's also Home Depot, Walmart, and all kinds of supplies too. Needles has grocery stores. So you go either way. You get over to the Arizona side, you don't have to pay California taxes. Los Angeles is uh, three, three hours away. I pulled up the taxes on the county website. So the taxes are due on this thing, uh, April 11th, the next tax bill is due, $16.89. I expect you, the, the buyer to pay that one, and going forward, you get that kind of tax bill twice a year, so it's a little over 30 bucks a year in taxes, like $33, $34 a year in taxes. It's a really cheap one to hold on to. If you're interested in this property or others like it, say please go to my website, ruralvacantland.com. And go to the subscribe tab. You can put your name and address, email address in there. They'll send you updates. More properties like this will come available. Thanks for listening and hope you're interested. And um, if, if you want to go for this one, please feel free to go tour it. Take a look. Um, you don't have to ask. Just use the GPS coordinates on there. Go, go tour the thing. And if you want it, go to the listings part of this website and click on the, the payment system. I'll do the recording, I'll do everything, I'll cover all the fees, and just make it really easy for you. And you can pay online, you don't even have to, you don't have to fill out any paperwork, just click, 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 like a, a modern transaction ought to be. Thank you for listening, thanks for watching, and hope to hear from you about buying this property soon.